There's a man in the house. There's a man. There's a man. There's a man in the house. What up? What up, D? What up, D? Yes, yes. My name is Jose, you know. Now, first of all, did you hear the story? Do you know what? I, I got caught up on it. Um, wow. Um, oh, 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 but you, you know what? It, it brought me to, to, to this realisation. There's a lot of people doing things that they're not ready for. And like, you don't have to do everything. You don't have to get married. If they're not ready for marriage, don't get married. Do you know what I mean? Like, like, if you're the kind of person who ignores all the various red flags in life, then maybe, like, don't get married. Like, like we, we, I think we just got to be more honest with ourselves. Personally, to answer the question, I wouldn't sign a prenup. Now, I'm blessed to um, have just enough for what I need. So maybe it's a different mindset than somebody with multi-millions. That being said, I, I, I don't think they're a good idea. I, I think there, is, there are a lot of things that come along with it that we don't see. So we see the protection for my stuff. Like, I, my money's safe, my this is me, me, me. But marriage is about unity. So... I struggle with the concept of us becoming one, <laughs> but me having, like me protecting my stuff. Um, I wouldn't be interested in somebody with that mindset. My mindset is more so our family, our lineage. Um, and I, I don't think a prenup is the best way to safeguard that. There are a lot, I mean, have you ever been in a situation? What, 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 are, what, are, your, what are your suggestions to safeguard that? Uh, my because because the, the facts are, the facts are, um, yeah, you know everything you're saying is from a purity place. Yeah, right. Unfortunately, and this is what we've been discussing like with different people. Yeah, that. Yeah. That are we? Do we just uh, allow ourselves to be this, these purists, these people who speak? You know, sound sound lovely, and then ignore all of these experiences, all of these things that the world's telling us that happens. We hear, mm -hmm. we see the news. Every day about yep. these people going through court and etc. 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 Are we now saying like that? Forget all of that. Because the fact is, I feel like so many people, so many people have felt like you. And and I think how you're what you're speaking is the right way to be in humanity. In humanity, but I feel like people can't afford to just be like just regular um and show regular humanity anymore because they genuinely are sharks. And, and, and you know what, mm -hmm. even though what you're saying is so spot on and how it should be, what happens if you lose everything, Darren? Say like you have millions. Uh, yeah. And, then you, and you come into it saying, you know, we, but I thought we was a union and I thought we was together and I thought all of this emotional stuff. And if you take right. all your shit, not half your shit, you know, all your shit. You know shit. what? You know what? First of all, um, I don't think there's a scenario where the woman ever gets all. Like, right. it doesn't make sense, right? Secondly, <laughs> you know, those are millionaires who have gone bankrupt, but because of this, done it again, and then gone bankrupt. And because of this, so they don't worry about money. Now, mm. the things you said, are they're important things, but I see it as I'm coming to the table and making a decision based on my fears of what might happen um, or my fears of what did happen. I'm like, let's learn from it. Let's learn the best ways to go forward. But if, if I'm kind of coming to a situation and I'm thinking, what if you do me wrong? Like, maybe I shouldn't be in that. I, you know, one thing that messes up business relationships is emotion. Right? And I think yeah, something that yeah, messes yeah, up yeah. emotional Fact. relationships Fact. is business. Fact. You know, you know, certain times you get into business with a brethren, it goes wrong, you lose a friend. So, so I think so these are two you, areas. So, so what would you call, what would you call a, a marriage? What would you call that? Was, is that an emotional relationship? A, emotional um, 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 business or is it just strictly business? What, what do you call it? Marriage. I, I, I call it a covenant. Mm -hmm. But, you know, that's, that's, that's what I believe in. I call it a covenant. I think once you start getting lawyers and all that stuff in, into place, it gets messy. And you know what? Little niggling resentments are, 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 are planted. Little seeds of resentment. You ever been in a situation where you're speaking to somebody, let's say maybe you're in a relationship, and, and they, 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 they kind of pose a question to you that makes you think, wow, what would make you think I would do something like that? Hmm. Even that little thing makes you go, hmm. Like, like all, all the things that are written. So, for example, let's say the prenup says, if you cheat th this, and if that, that, it's like, 
rah, what about me makes you think I'm going to do that? So all these resentments get get built in. Uh, personally, I'm much that, more that, interested that, that, in... against other people's fears that, that, that you don't yeah. bring to your union. So, that, so, that's, so that's what's, what's happening. Because the basketball dude, like that happened, now I've got to protect for that. And now I've got to protect for that. And so I'm treating this new person in a way that I shouldn't even be treating them. Kind of like when, when, like when for example, the last boyfriend cheated. So now automatically I'm, I'm probably a cheat. So now you've got to make sure I'm not a cheat rather than just getting to know me and see what my values are. But with regards to money and stuff, and I heard like stuff about property and family, wealth and equity and stuff like that. I'd be interested in putting it in a trust for our children when they get to X, Y, Z age. Then we know our, like we are both united looking for the best course for our lineage. At the end of the day, when you've got a plan that goes forward, it sometimes helps you to not have those situations. A lot of people are coming to it, I like you, you like me, let's do this. Rather than, yo, this is my goal in life. You're a cool person, I like your personality, you're beautiful, yeah, all that stuff. But what are your goals in life? Because a lot of the time, it's very simple. From the get-go, you were going that way, and I were going that way, and what was the point? Do you know what I mean? It's like, like why am I going to date a, a police officer if, if I'm a crap dealer? Like, we might have a few good times, well, you might, you, 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 might have, you, you might have someone that, you know, keep the police away. You hear me? Like, come on. <laughs> yeah, no, I, 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 I think at the end of the day, if we're not united from the beginning, it just gives way to, you know, to, to problems or resentments to, well, to creep in. I lean, I lean to everything you say um, from, from um, or everything you said from a, a, a humanity point of view mm -hmm. i think yeah that is what this whole thing was about it was it was it was from the perspective of everything that you're saying yeah mm -hmm. but, the, but the sad part of it and the, you know and uh, mm -hmm. you know i don't know if we're letting society win by mm -hmm. by by having a little bit of fear mm -hmm. in us that makes us get protective just mm -hmm. based on everything that we're hearing that mm -hmm. um that People like that, people like you, get hurt, bro. Do you know what? Do you know what I mean? And, 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 and unfortunately, mm. I feel like if, if, if someone like you get hurt, yeah. like, well, how am I supposed to behave next? If, if, <laughs> but, but, think but of it, if I my guy Darren gets yeah. married for love and he puts everything yeah. in place and he's yeah. just all about this union and and mm -hmm. and and then he loses something that I know he's worked hard for. He's built his own business. And right. now then they, you know, they're separated. Like she gets half of that. And I know that she hasn't she hasn't put that. Bro, yeah. bro I'm, I'm telling girls to sign prenups that I'm not even with. <laughs> I, you know what? The, the thing is, I, I just feel like as as a society, we've gotten far too cowardly. Like Agreed. guess guess who gets hurt? Everybody. And so when you get hurt, learn the lesson. Like, like a lot of people that, you know what? I, know, but what's I find the lesson? What's the lesson though? What's okay. the lesson? Is the lesson, you know what? Next time I'm getting a prenup. Uh, do you know what? Okay, before you do anything as drastic as that, I say, um, jokingly, how about next time don't sleep with him until you know he's your life partner? How about how next do time know? don't sleep with him? Hold, 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 hold on a second. Hold on a second, bro. Hold on a second. Okay, it's like how. How do you know? How do you know? Well, I believe in faith. I believe in getting to know somebody before you let other things cloud your objectivity. I believe about being aligned, not only spiritually and, and physically, but like like life journey. What do you, what are your what, what are, what's your ethos? What are you about as a person? These things here, yeah, you might be able to fake it for three weeks until you sleep with her, but you can't fake it until you're married. Like I, I'm interested, to be honest. Um, how many of these divorces started with a relationship that didn't include sex until marriage? It's an interesting, I think that'll be an interesting stat. I think most people, we, we run into things before we're ready for it. Like, even, like you're saying, what if I get hurt? Now, the, the, the fact of the matter is, if I got hurt, if I get hurt, I've got to learn those lessons and I've got to not make the mistakes I made previously. But then I've also got to not get into the next thing before I'm ready to get into it. I think... Far too many people are getting into like marriages when they're not ready, personally, and and getting married for the wrong reasons. 
And I think, again, once lawyers get involved, yeah, <laughs> they're like, he's going to get hurt. It's all right, I'm strong. I'll, I'll bounce back stronger the next time. <laughs> yeah, so, but like, so when lawyers strong. get involved, all, all sorts of funny stuff happens, you know? Lawyers start saying, yeah, you've got to put this in there, put that in there, and start suggesting that. And the conversations get mad. And then you're looking at this person, and like, you must, at that point, realise, I don't even know this person. Why am I getting married to them? If I've yeah. got to worry about them cheating, them not looking after our children, them not get like, how do you fake? How do you fake all of that? Yo, yo, yo. Lawrence Lor Lawrence Acoli, yeah, said. Yeah. He said. He said. He said. If you if you want a hundred mil in the lotto, you yeah. get a prenup then. No. <laughs> listen, listen. If I want a hundred mil in the lotto, I would do sensible things with that money, and my lineage going forward would be set for life. I wouldn't even worry about money. <laughs> I won't be buying big, like, big cars with big rims and all that stuff. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, what lessons do you learn in life, I think? Personally, you know what? Like, no, you know what? I think, I'll tell you what, yeah. What I've learned yeah. from, from, from making some money is yeah. you don't know what you're doing until you got it, fam. See, I, I, I'm telling <laughs> you, like, like, too many people talk about what they wouldn't do when, 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 comfortably because they, it ain't sitting there in their account. And when it sits there in your account, mm -hmm. bro, yeah, that's the only time you can give an honest answer. There's a lot of things that well, people want to do. Some people will say they will never steal until they have no choice, bro. You understand what I'm No, there's always a choice. There's always a choice. No, no, there, there's absolutely, there's always a choice. You're right. But some people mm. can only truly answer that question when they're in that environment. Mm. I mean, we can, say the, we can say the same for any question. No, I, But absolutely. I'm asking, to, obviously, to the best of my knowledge. And, and you know what? Also, I can use times when I've had money. How am I about that? I can use relation. Listen, I've been, I've come out of relationships and lost beef, and it's not bothered me because m what is money? Like life, people, like journey is is, is more important than than you know what I mean money. Like that's that's kind of how I look at it, bro, man. I, you know what? Like I, I I'm, just, I'm just happy to be fair that that you have that mindset because it it, it, it really makes it brings everything back to its organic roots mm. you see what i'm trying to say in terms of mm. how life should be and how people should go into marriages and how and um, the fact of matter is, is that we are we're, we're in a world man where do you know what man there's people that will, will perform for, for for years they will mm. act for years bro they will act not, not some, of the, some of the best actors bro ain't in movies fam yeah, <laughs> yeah. but you, you know what the thing is I've, I've i've met you know i used to be married to one of them to be honest so i've learned that lesson you've been married yeah. All right. Okay. 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 Uh, and what, what was the lesson that you said you learned from how? Oh, somebody. No, no. Just, just how like people can people be one way when certain yeah. things happen, and, and so like you get to see like I have mastered how to get to know somebody really. Mm. You see what I'm saying? But one of the things you have to do, I know it's not going to be popular for a lot of people up in here, but you must withhold your sex until marriage. That gives you enough time to see everything you need to see before all those neurochemistry stuff. Listen, once you start that and you start releasing certain stuff. Imagine this. It would not be wise to get intoxicated on alcohol and get behind the wheel of a car, mm. right? Now, what we've got to understand is when you understand addiction and dopamine and whatever, when you now start doing that thing, certain stuff starts happening there. Stuff starts showing that you lose objectivity. Listen, he could be boxing you with the flag while he's behind you. You ain't seen no flag because you're caught up on all this other stuff and, oh, da, da, and you're ignoring stuff. And so you're intoxicated and trying to make life decisions. Imagine, it's not wise to be intoxicated with alcohol and get behind the wheel, but then you want to make a decision for your, the whole course of your life while you're, much less, by the way, those people who are doing it with more than one person, right, but it's a write-off. Already, the reason you married the wrong person is not because you didn't have the prenup, it's because you probably had sex with them far too soon, you started compromising yourself, you started doing this, making decisions that you wouldn't do. And, you know, I, I just think that we need to get better at getting to know people before we allow it, soul ties, sex, and all sorts of other stuff that cloud your judgment to get in the mix. Bro, you have been preaching today, and I love everything that you said. It's just, it, it's brought balance to um, some of the conversations that we've had today. Do you know what I mean? And I think mm -hmm. it's just good to hear that there are still people that, that, that believe in just mm -hmm. the purest side of, of of getting together with somebody and building a union and using words like union is so important mm -hmm. because it just brings true to to how we should be you know everything that you're one, saying one more thing coach yeah is that i believe i'm still doing my research but i believe a private trust 
is the best way to safeguard assets anyway. Like mm. when it comes to um, inheritance and stuff, there's still taxes and, and there's still ways that, listen, funny people from over there can just pop up and mess with the whole thing. When you put such and such in a trust for such and such at this date, then it's safer. And the thing is, when we do it that way, we are doing it together with one mind, with one mindset, rather than coming from a, I've got to protect my stuff in case they let me down, which is really a terrible foundation to begin with. Like, we will protect our stuff for our lineage. Now, we've got something to look forward to that makes this relationship more important. That time now when that, when that woman's flutting her eyelids at me and, like, give me the signs, I, nah, I've got... I've got something to look forward to. There's, there's um, what do you call it? There's a scripture um, that says, um, looking at the glory uh, to come, Christ went to the cross and endured it. So he sacrificed that because he knew what he was going to gain mm. at the end. And he knew the ultimate gain. We're going into marriages without having a glory to come. So that's why it's easy to just go and sleep around or cheat on that one or do whatever or gamble our, our family assets on stuff like i got no glory to come. But when I'm looking at, hold on, I want to do this for my daughter's grandchildren, like, or my grandchildren's grandchildren's grandchildren. Like, when I'm, when, when I'm thinking like that, it's very hard to do these, these foolish things. And so in that early stage, what is their mindset like? Are they quick gratification type of person or can they hold it out? Of course, because we're quick gratification, like, we can't even look for that because we don't want that ourselves. It's a big problem. We've got to look beyond this stuff, beyond the, 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 the kind of short-term gains. Brother, bars. <laughs> bars. Thank you very much for coming on as always, bro. Love Have one, brother. Day. Peace. All right, later. Later. Wow. That was, that was good. That was, that was good. That, that, that was good. I think um, um, that was, that was a, a nice collection of 